My dad says Batman 89 is a great movie and that I'm nuts for not loving it like him. One thing, Dad. My opinion. And that's not yours. You love it. That's fine with me. I hate it. That should be fine with you, too. And plus, it wouldn't really be a review for you guys if I didn't watch it and then tell you my tell you my thoughts because what kind of review is that for this episode of crap my dad makes me watch my dad makes me watch 1989's Batman Directed by Tim Burton, the same guy who directed Nightmare Before Christmas. Currently has a 72% critic score and an 84% audience score on Rotten Tomato. The characters are Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, Joker, aka Jack Napier, Alfred, aka the Butler. Commissioner Gordon, aka the helper of Batman. Vicky Vale, aka the love interest. Knox, aka a reporter following Batman rumors. Rizm and his gang of thugs. Yeah, I'm gonna rob it. Bob, Joker's number one. Batman st stops some bad guys to stop, saving a family just like his. What are you? I'm Batman. Grism, a crime boss, sets up his number one guy, Jack, N Jack Napier. Batman catches Jack at a chemical factory. Jack falls in a vat of chemicals and he eventually becomes the Joker. Dun, 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 dun. Mirror. You understand that the nerves were completely severed, Mr. Napier. <laughs> Joker takes over Grism's gang after he kills him. Joker hatches a plan. Meanwhile, Bruce me meets Icky. I I mean Vicky. Sorry, did I say I Icky? I meant Vicky. I said I I probably said Icky because they become really romantic. <laughs> Bruce Wayne can't stop Joker at a press conference, but Joker falls in love with Vicky Vale there, and he sets up a meeting with her at a museum. Bats is there to help. <laughs> People in town start dying due to chemicals the Joker puts in products. Knox, Vicky, and Bats figure this out and stop Joker. Batman figures out that Jack Napier killed his parents and is the Joker. Joker tries to take over the city by throwing a parade. He fills giant balloons with gas that kills people and throws fake money at the people. The Dark Knight arrives in the Batwing and cuts the balloons loose. He gets shot down by the Joker 
And then the Joker takes Vale hostage. Batman beats up some minions, fights the Joker, saves the girl, and gets a spotlight for his troubles. What I didn't like about this movie was the costume. It was terrible. The Batmobile was terrible. Bruce Wayne himself was terrible. Joker's face was terrible. As well as that, was this a superhero movie or a romance? I thought this was a romance. Here are some reasons why. Okay, I'm back. One more, wait, one more. Okay, now I'm really back. Maybe it should be Bruce Vane. <laughs> what I liked about this movie was the good Batman battle scenes. Michael Keaton was a good Batman as well. The Batwing in the final battle were great. And I mean great, as in great. Like, great, great, great. There could nothing be it. There would nothing be... Well, nothing could be any better than seeing the Batwing in the final battle in any Batman movie whatsoever. And hopefully that does not change. This was an action movie, so I couldn't find a really funny clip. But here's the funniest clip I could find from the movie. <laughs> Sue, how is it? Oh, it's, it's great. It's great. Could you pass the salt? Sure. <laughs> now it's time for my asometer. It's my ranking system that I use to rank all my dads. And I rate this a third. Why? Just the costumes were terrible, like I referenced earlier. There were too much there was too much romance. And I mean too much. And that's mostly those are the reasons why I rank this a third. It sucked. Except for the epic battles at the end. That's why I gave it 30. If there were no epic battles, I would have just given it a zero. Very, very bad costumes. Thanks, Seth. Now it's time for my dad, Seth. My dad says he wore this VHS out once as a kid. It was the first VHS he remembers buying all by himself. What's a VHS and what do you watch it on? The computer, TV, DVR, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox 360, PS3, PS2, PS1, PSP, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U, Nintendo 64, and any other game console that I forgot to mention. What do you watch it on? Finally, my dad says Heath Ledger's Joker is good, but Jack Nicholson's Joker is very unhinged. Something he noticed on his on his rewatch. Okay, well, who is Heath Ledger's Joker, and who is Jack Nicholson's Joker, and what the heck does that even mean? I have no stinking idea. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter at TrapMyDad. Bye!